What we're going to do, real simple to start with, we're just going to go from the bottom up kind of um, stretch. So to start with hammies, we're just going to go real basic hamstring stretch. So one leg tucked in nice and tight to the other. Let's think about pulling those toes back towards you. And then all we're going to do is reach for your shin. If you can get to your shin, great. If you can get to your ankle, even better. If you can get down to your toes, that's the best there. So keeping this knee nice and straight, one foot tucked in. Let's just go for a reach for those toes. Trying to think about keeping that knee as straight as we can. And just gradually, every 10 seconds or so, see if you can just inch those fingers a little bit further over that front foot. Again, think about your breathing. So we want to be breathing into our belly. Nice and deep. And out. Think about four or five seconds in and out. So nice and smooth and slow. Taking our time with that. Again, just creep those fingertips over a little bit if we can. Last 10 seconds or so, just creep them one more time. See if you can get those hands right over. I'm 33 years old as of last Tuesday, and if I can do this, you young pups should all be able to do it as well. Just practice. So let's change sides. Again, tuck that foot in nice and close, toes up towards you, knee nice and straight. Let's reach for those toes. Have a think about that breathing. So breathe into your stomach. Belly button rising. As you breathe out, belly button falling and just trying to reach forward. By working on regulating that breath, that's gonna help our nervous system relax which is going to improve the range of motion you get through stretching. If your nervous system thinks it's under attack, so that kind of fight or flight system where our breathing rate goes up, our heart rate's up, adrenaline goes, that's not going to help with this. We want to relax, we want to unwind, we want to breathe deep and slow, let our, our brain realize that we're not under threat, we can relax and switch off. That's going to help us improve our range of motion as we work through this. So again, Keep thinking about that breathing. We'll do another 10, 15 seconds here. Let's reach a little bit further forward. Again, try and see if you can get those hands right over the front of that foot. Okay, let's come up into a basic groin stretch. So feet. So as your feet touching each other, like your butterfly stretch, think about trying to push those knees towards the ground. So we're opening up nice big chest, but nice and tall, lifting that sternum up to the ceiling, pushing those knees down. Again, nice deep breathing into the belly button. So we shouldn't have our shoulders rising up and down as we breathe. We should be breathing into our diaphragm, deep into our belly. Breathing out. Smooth and slow, nice and deep breaths in and out. Last 10 seconds here. Okay, so we're going to stretch that one leg out in front again. This time, let's bring that top leg over towards you and then just hug that in towards your chest. We should be feeling that down into the hip here, into the base of our glutes. Again, turning that shoulder towards your knee, just hugging that in gently and just work through that breathing again, nice and smooth and slow. Ten seconds, and we change sides. Okay, from there, swap those over. Let's tuck that one leg across, and then bring that knee in towards the chest. Again, nice, smooth, slow breath.
Okay, now we're going to go into some lower back. So from that lying position, we bring one knee up towards the ceiling and then just gently pull that across the body, keeping those shoulders nice and flat. So I'm still letting that shoulder sit to the ground. Just turn your head away, just gently pull with that knee. Doesn't need to be aggressive, just gently. And again, work through that breathing nice and smooth and slow. shoulders flat to the ground and just relax into that position. Again, breathing nice and smooth and slow. Breathing in, four or five seconds, and out four or five seconds. Just regulate that breathing. Last 10 seconds here. Okay, just trying to come back to center. So from there, we're gonna just grab a cushion if you like, if you're operating on a hard floor. If you've got a nice comfortable mat, that's fine. We're just going to work through some hip flexor. So I'm just going to kneel on that cushion. What I'm going to do is squeeze my bottom and then that same arm, I'm going to reach up to the ceiling. So squeezing my backside, reaching up long through the arm, so fingertips stretching right to the ceiling, opening up that hip, which if we've been sat down, we've been in the car, or we've been cycling for long periods of time, or at a desk, these will start to get pretty tight, so you really want to open up. If you've also been doing a lot of speed work, a lot of sprint work, you might find your hip flexors because they're having to bring your hip through really aggressively that they get a little bit tight, so it's a good one to focus on. Again, we don't want to overarch the lower back, just keep neutral, but squeeze the backside and reach tall, so really lengthening out this part of the hip here. Again, focusing on that breathing, breathing into the diaphragm. Out. Last 10 seconds or so here. Keep squeezing that backside. You can work on some PNF stretches here. You squeeze for a few seconds and relax off. Squeeze for a few seconds and relax off. Okay, let's change sides. So our other legs are come down. Let's come through into that hip flexor stretch again. Now my right hand here is going to reach up and over, stretching right through my fingertips to the ceiling. And then just again, squeezing my backside here. Really lengthen out, reach through that side. Nice and deep into that diaphragm. Last ten seconds. Okie dokie. So if we can put that to one side for a moment, and what we're going to do here is work on some calf stretches. So just from that old forward position, I'm just going to push down through my calf. So driving down, keeping that knee straight. So you need to touch one foot over the other. I'm going to try to push this heel 
and down towards the ground. So it should just hover above the ground, just like a little credit card kind of size. Really lengthening out through the calves here, pushing down, keeping that knee as straight as I can is going to help. Getting that gastroc stretch, and again, just hold. If you want to do a little PNF here, you can think about pushing into the ground, and then relaxing off. Pushing into the ground, relaxing off. Stretch inside, so I'm going to push down to my other leg this time. Again, keep the knee nice and straight. Try to think about driving the heel down towards the ground. And that's deep breathing. Try to think about that calf muscle relaxing off, lengthening. Gently come down to our knees. Last st passive stretch here before we do some active work. We're going to go hands right out in front. Make a little diamond with your fingers. And then just slowly push that head towards the floor. So my heels going towards my backside, palms staying flat on the floor. A little triangle between the, the fingers and my thumb. And just relaxing into that. And again, let's just breathe. Really slow into my diaphragm. with it, just relax into it. And just bring that up. Okay, so that is the passive part of our session done. What we're gonna do now is work on pretty much most of those movements through some active range, but to start with we'll do a slightly different variation. So some of you will remember the, the box drills that we did in terms of the 1990 kind of hip position. I'm gonna work on a little bit of that we're going to bring in a bit of a lunge and overhead reach. So to start with, you should work on that shin box drill. So you want to think about folding your knees so that one knee fits just inside the other foot and both my right shin and my left shin on the floor. And then just come back to the start position. So a little bit wider than hip width, push down. So I'm working through that internal and external rotation of the hip, smooth and slow. If you're really struggling, you can put your hands down if you need to, to work through that internal and external rotation. So it should work. If you keep your feet in the same position, you should be able to get your knees and your ankles almost fitting in together like a jigsaw. What we're going to do now is add in, as we rotate, the pop up into that hip pop, and then come back down, other side, pop up, into that hip position, and down, we're going to do two more reps and then we're going to add a little something more. So just opening up through that hip a little bit. Okay, now as we pop up, you're going to step through into a lunge position behind and just reach overhead. So we get that hip flexor stretch back. Let's rotate on the side, pop up, and step through. Just reach up overhead into that lunge position. Back to center position. Here, yeah, pop up, step through into your lunge, reach overhead. Again, don't arch the spine, just keep that chest over your front knee. Pop up, step through, reach overhead. Do two more. Up, step through, lunge and reach. Good. Last one, rotate, pop up, step through, reach overhead. Good. So there we worked on some internal and external rotation of the hip, as well as some hip extension, and then also obviously working through that kind of active range. So the last thing we're going to do today is a little mobility series that a few of you have done before, but I'm going to put a little twist on it. So a lot of you that have done that inchworm flow that we've done before, the first part's going to stay the same. We're going to throw in a little bit 
of some of those kind of cobra and child poses as well. So I'll get rid of my glasses because inevitably they will fall off straight away. So all we're going to do to start with is from that standing position, the inchworm, I'm going to come down, walk my hands out into my press up position. I'm going to take one knee up and outside my hand. Again, elbow to ground, rotate to the sky, change feet, other knee up and outside my hand. Elbow to ground, reach for the sky. Now this is where we're going to change it. So I'm going to come back to my press up position. But I'm going to arch up almost into that downward dog position, then come down into my cobra, and then push back into that child pose. From here, push up. Let's walk those hands back to our start position. That's one rep. So we're down to our toes. Walk out, keep those knees as straight as we can, pushing down through those heels to my press up position. Knee comes, uh, foot comes up and outside, elbow to ground, rotate, keep looking at that thumb, change feet, foot comes up and outside, elbow to ground, rotate, keep looking at that thumb, back to our press up position, into almost that downward dog, come up into that cobra, push back into our child pose. Heels go down and we'll walk back up. Good, we'll do three more. Down to the toes, let's walk it out. Foot comes up, elbow to ground, rotate to the sky. Foot comes up, elbow to the ground, rotate to the sky. Into that downward dog position. Let's do cobra. Push back into the child pose. We'll go down, let's walk back up. Oh, keep your knees nice and straight. Two to go. Down to the toes. Knees as straight as we can, pushing down to the heels. Into our press up. Go outside, go to the ground. Rotate. Go outside. Elbow to the ground. Rotate. Press up position into your downward dog. Come down through into your cobra. Push back into that child pose. Heels go down. Let's just slowly walk back up. Okay, one more rep. Down to the ground. Keep those knees nice and straight. Walk your hands out. Your press up. Foot comes up and outside. Elbow to the ground. Let's rotate. Up and outside. Elbow to the ground. Let's rotate. Back to our child. To our downward dog, to the cobra, push back to your child pose, and then let's walk those three hands all the way back in towards the feet. Good. Okay, let's have a little breather. That's five reps done. We're going to keep that format, but we're just going to tweak one or two things now. So we're just going to change a little couple of things. So the end, the start and the end will be the same, but the bit in the middle we're going to change. So. Same start, same finish again. We're just going to do five reps and that's us going to be done. So, from that start position, I'm going to walk my feet out just as we did. And then this time, instead of bringing my foot up and outside, I'm going to bring my shin through into that pigeon stretch. I'm going to bring my chest over to that side, back to center. Other legs will come through. Pigeon stretch, chest to that side, back to center. Everything else is going to be the same, so downward dog. Let's come up and through. To our child pose. And then let's walk those hands back up. So that's one rep. We're going to do four more. Down to our toes. Walk out just as we did before. Leg comes up and through into your pigeon stretch. See if you can get that chest towards your knee. Back to center. Change legs. Pigeon stretch on the other side, chest towards your knee, back to center, and we come up and through into that cobra, push back into the child pose, heels down, let's walk back up. Okay, we're going to do three more. Down to the ground, out we go, leg comes through, chest to knee. Center, change feet, pigeon 
stretch, just do what you need. Back to center. Bottom goes up towards the sky. Now we're through into our cobra. Back into our child pose. And then let's walk back up. Okay, two to go. Down to our toes. There we go. Go into our pigeon. Chest towards the knee. Back to the center. Pigeon on the other side. Chest towards that knee. Back to the center. Right off to the sky. Turn to your cobra. Back into your child pose. Keep it down. Let's walk back up. We'll do one more rep and we're done. Down. Let's walk it out. Make them your pigeon. Chest towards the knee. Back to the start. Make them straight your pigeon. Chest to knee. Back to the start. Push down to your heel and keep down dog. Into your cobra. Back into the child. And then have to walk those hands back up. Good stuff guys, great work. And that's us done for another mobility session for this week. Uh, well done and thanks for everyone who got involved. Enjoy the rest of your evening and we'll see you on Sunday for the last one before we take a one week break. In the meantime, let me know if there's anything you wanna see, any suggestions, any changes, anything we haven't done that you'd like to do. Stick it in the chat or send me a message on Instagram and we'll get that sorted. Cheers guys, have a great evening.